A rough night's sleep for some Portsmouth firefighters. They weren't able to rest in their own beds. Yeah, but it's not because of a fire. It's because of bed bugs. Mm -hmm. Over the weekend, firefighters at Station 1 in Portsmouth noticed the bugs. One battalion chief told 10 in your side, some firefighters slept in the gym area instead of in their beds. 10 in your side's Brandy Cummings is live outside of the fire station. So, uh, Brandy, I'm sure they're trying to make sure they don't bring those pests home with them. Absolutely. Stephanie and Nita, fire officials say they have an exterminator here at Fire Station 1 here on Effingham Street in Portsmouth trying to get rid of those bed bugs, but they say it'll take several visits to make sure they're all gone. Now, we also want to let you know that today we talked to an expert, someone very familiar with how to get rid of bed bugs, and he explains just what others should do in case you ever have to get rid of them yourself. Anything that affects our people is a concern for us. Bed bugs inside a Portsmouth Fire Station 1. Uh, so far, it's only been those two insects that they found. But we want to know if we have a bigger problem because, you know, our folks live here 24 hours at a time. Deputy Fire Chief Jim Hoppler says command staff learned of the bugs over the weekend. Monday, an exterminator found a bed bug on a cloth recliner in a community TV room and on a mattress. You're going to have this type of thing, uh, everything from from those to roaches to you name it, uh, they come back on our people sometimes. Hoffler says at any given time, there are several fire companies and EMTs in this building, up to 15 people. He says the crews at the busiest station in the city come in contact with many people on a regular basis, so it's hard to know how the bed bugs got in. They are getting worse around here. Expert Charlie Church with Get em Pest Services considers bed bugs hitchhikers, pests that go from one thing to the other, attracted to carbon monoxide and feeding on blood. Where you notice them will be blood stains on your bed sheets, around your pillow. You might notice a small mark on your arm or your back or someplace. Church admits getting rid of them is hard, even for the professionals, because he says bed bugs can get into any crack or crevice. He says experts have many tools to exterminate, but according to Church, heat, like putting your clothes in the dryer or even leaving them in a hot car, can help you get rid of the pests. All right, so we do want to mention, uh, Stephanie Anita, just a moment ago that our viewers probably saw the gentleman in the bright yellow suit there. Uh, just asked him. He is not trying to get rid of bed bugs here behind me, but we do want to let you know that uh, Deputy Chief Hoffler told me that mattress and that chair has been disposed of. Also, he told me today that when the uh, command staff was alerted about the bed bugs, some firefighters chose to uh, stay in the common area, the gym area, some even staying in the uh, kitchen area, of course, until the bed bugs have been cleared away from uh, here. Also, Deputy Chief Hoffler telling us tonight that so far there's been no one that's told them that they've sought any medical uh, treatment for any uh, bed bug bites. So, of course, that is something that they are going to keep an eye on, as well as trying to make sure that, uh, of course, here, Station 1 is clear of bed bugs. For now, live in Portsmouth, Brandy Cummings, 10 on your side.